In my previous video I've talked about what Huffman coding is and how to create the tree. In this video we're going to look at an actual exam question. Um, from what I've seen so far um, in the exam, in the specimen and the 2018 exam, students were not actually asked to create the Huffman tree, but they're asked to take an existing Huffman tree and code the different characters. Now this one's worth three marks and um, the question says a Huffman tree shown in figure six was created to encode the string shown in figure five. That's the string there. The frequency of each character is shown in the brackets. For example, the A, letter A appears five times within the string shown in figure five. Okay, so in the brackets there, that says that A appears five times, G appears four times, etc. Complete the code table below. I've placed it up here just to cut it out and put it up here because it's easier for doing this. Um, for characters G, S and H, the Huffman tree shown in figure 6. Code for character A has already been completed. So what I've got here, um, this is quite helpful to have this because this has been given a binary code. So if I look, A is there. So if I can't remember that zeros go off to the left and ones go, go to the right, I've been given quite a big clue there. Um, A is zero. A only has has one digit and it's off to the left hand side so zeros must go to the left what you do need to remember is zeros go to the left and ones go to the right so what I've done is I recommend you do this when given a question like this is I put the numbers on the branches like that ones and zeros I've labeled all the branches so now I can look at G um, G is one and then zero so I write down one zero like that okay because it's one there and zero it's like a pathway to get to it what I had to go down route one and then route zero to get to G what about S then one one zero and H is one 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 so that has given me three marks for just labeling labeling my branches there and being able to write down in this table the different Huffman codes, the binary codes for these different characters. Now well, this is the second part of the question. This gains me another four marks to give me seven marks in total for this question. What I've got here is a question that says the string shown in figure five could also be encoded using ASCII. ASCII uses seven bits to represent each character. How many bits are saved using Huffman rather than ASCII to represent the string? Must show your working. So what I've got to do here is show how how I'm going to work this out. So if you look back at this table from before there, if I just place that there, you can see the different characters that I've got there. Okay, so what I need to do is write down the string and then write down the ones and zeros used in that string. So I'm going to start with, I'm just going to write this out. So A is zero, okay. A is zero. G is one zero. So now you can see I've written out the whole string and then all the ones and zeros that represent that. So I've got H in there, which is one, 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 etc. And I've written all my ones and zeros out like that very carefully. What I'd recommend you do it this way and you leave some spaces between these characters so you can write your ones and zeros. So what I've got there, if I count all those up, it's actually 25 bits. And that gives me a mark according to the mark scheme for doing that. One out of four marks. Now what I need to do is think about the ASCII. So ASCII, for just normal ASCII, not, not extended ASCII, normal ASCII uses seven bits per character. So I've got 13 characters there. Okay, 13 characters multiplied by seven. Okay, so just to, I need to be able to do this without a calculator. So I'm going to do um, 10 times 7, which is um, 70, plus 
what I've got left over, the 3 there, 3 times 7, plus 3 sevens are 21, so that is um, 91 in total, okay? So that would be 91 bits in total. So now all I need to do is take away the 25 from that, give me 66 and my final answer for four marks is 66 bits for that question.